so I can truthfully get all the images I need to list 100 items on eBay in just a matter of a couple of minutes. And I'm going to show you how today. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to look at how I actually get images for a vast majority of the items we sell. Not all of them, of course, but a large chunk of what I sell, I'm able to scan. And with the scanner that I have, which we'll show you in just a minute here, I can do, geez, hundreds of items in just a matter of moments. It depends on the DPI I want, uh, the quality I want of the images. Now we're going to scan these right here. There are a hundred cards in this little packet right here. I counted them out, verified it. I counted them twice just to make sure. You can count them in the video. We're going to do this in real time so you can literally put the timer on this to see how long it takes me to do these. Now I'm going to scan these at 600 dpi. If you want to cut the time in half from what I'm going to show you in just a few minutes here, drop the DPI down to 300, 200, and they're going to fly through here. In a minute or so, I can get 100 of these on a lower DPI than what I'm doing now, today. I just happen to use 600 DPI most of the time. So without further ado, we're gonna knock these out. I'm gonna get a scan of both sides at the very same time. So we're going to get 200 images in minutes, just a couple of minutes. So we're gonna scan some cards here. I wanna show you how incredibly good this device is. And this is just an Epson DS510 duplex scanner. Any duplex scanner does both sides at the same time. That's what a duplex means, it, it does double. This is 100 cards. I counted them out just to make sure there's roughly $8,600 or so of list price in my hand right here, 100 listings worth. I've got more than that right here. Here's some more I plan on scanning today. There's probably, geez, another close to 500 cards in here. Probably close to 40 grand worth of merchandise just in this one. Now that's list price. That's not what we're gonna get for it. I've separated and I always list the best stuff first. I get all my money back really quickly and then who cares from that point on if it sits around at all. So we're gonna do these later on, but I'm just gonna do 100 of these just to give you an idea. Let's get this ready here. I'm just gonna get the scanner itself ready. We're gonna get a card ready to go. We're gonna hit the scan button. And then from here on out, if I can feed it fast enough, it's not gonna stop at all. I'm just gonna keep feeding it with cards. Now I've positioned this so that it's the right direction when it's on eBay. That's what matters to me, the right direction when it's on eBay. And keep in mind, this is doing front and back of the cards. If I drop the DPI down to say 300 DPI, these will all go through twice as quick. And it's just gonna stack them up on there. It's wise to keep them in the same direction. I had these set, but I'm just sitting here yapping. I probably won't get everyone the way I want it, but that's fine. Now this has a spot where I've added on a border. So there's a quarter inch border around each one of these cards as it goes through. So every single millimeter of every single card is going to be done with this scanner. I'm not missing anything. There's no screwball images or, or stretching or anything else like that. It auto automatically fixes any skews I may have also. So if the card's skewed for some reason, this is going to auto correct that and I won't have to worry about that aspect at all. As you see, it's going through fairly quickly here. We're just hand, or removing them as I slide it through here. So once they come through this end, I can just stack them up here and off it goes. Again, there's a hundred cards here, uh, just over $8,000 or so list price. I should get about half that I would imagine at the end of the day, worst case scenario. So we're just feeding it on in here. I don't know how many we've done already, but we've done quite a few already. Again, if you pay a little more attention, you can get these running in the correct direction. I'm just feeding it to show you. It's a little hard to talk to make sure everything's going through. So, And we're probably at least a quarter of the way through. Doesn't do any damage to the cards either. We've used this scanner for years. 
I love this scanner, honestly. Any of the Epson scanners that we have work just fine. They do a great job on pretty much everything that we have. So again, just continue to feed them on through here. And there's a lot of value in here. Oops. Now, if you lose track of where you're at or you're yapping too much, you'll have to um, bring it back around. So let me close this off. I'll have to start the scanner because I messed up. Not paying enough attention and yapping. So hang on just a second here. Let's get another one ready to go. So once you hit scan, it takes just a second for it to start rescanning. You can see they're all going through just fine without any issues. So the minute you stop and leave a gap, it's going to stop scanning. So anyway. Again, if you're 300 DPI, these things will fly through here. I mean fly through this scanner. You won't be able to keep up with it. There's no way on earth. We're probably halfway done already with them. A lot of these are tobacco, railroad-related items in here, candy, uh, some scarce items. Everything in here I'm going to price at least 75 bucks. Everything I'm scanning, all 100 of these cards. And if you want to verify there's 100, you can count them in this video. We're doing in real time just so you can see. No big skill needed. You don't have to worry about being able to take a photograph or anything. These will just slide right on through without any issue. As long as you place them two against the side here, they're going to be straight. And as I said, if they're not straight, there is a correction for the skew that's automatic. It'll automatically fix the skew of the cards. As we just slide them on through here... So we're almost done, honestly. So you can get a real good idea on how long it takes to take 200 photos worth. Again, it's doing both sides at the same time. So every card that comes through here is doing two photos. We're literally almost done. So just FYI. I tell people that this thing's that quick and people just don't tend to believe it. So again, I can do at least 200 images in a minute if I drop the DPI down. Don't usually like to drop the DPI down, but that's just me. Not a big difference in quality. It's just preference, I guess. And it's almost too quick to get them all in there in time. Now, if there's two cards stuck together as well, it will tell you. It will jam up and say uh, secondary card or something like that. We've got the phone ringing in here, but no big deal. I'm just going to go through straight through, and we're going to get them all. We're literally almost done. Again, this is 200 photos worth in just this amount of time. And I know anybody out there doing photo-wise, it's going to take you a lot more time than what we're showing you right here, right off the bat. I've only got a handful left now. Just let it do its thing. Flying right through these. You'll get in a groove, too, and you'll be able to just pull these out as quickly as they're going in there, too. Small-wise, you can do fairly small cards in here, too, surprisingly enough. And there's multiple ways you can cram the card in there. So if it doesn't work one way, you can flip it, rotate the card, and it will go through another way. 
Now, if you're in Patreon, you've seen most of these cards. Again, these are the most expensive ones out of the lot that I've showed you. I may have not shown you all of these, but I know I showed quite a few of the cards that we just got, at least the higher, better ones to some extent. I've got probably 10,000 trade cards, as I said, we just got in, so some of these are pretty unique, to say the least. And if you can feed it in quick enough, you can scan them all together. We've probably got about six cards left to go, so we've almost done 200 images already. I got two more left to go, and that's 200 images. And again, I, as I said, the DPI on this one is set up to 600. Sometimes I do 300, depending on what we're scanning. So that's it. That's every card out of the stack. That's 200 images that I just scanned right here. 200 images in just a matter of a couple of minutes. Well, there we have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. Bridge Layer comes with driver or striker comes with driver. Other figures and equipment sold separately from Hasbro.